Welcome to your Canva classroom, everybody. Today, we're gonna to talk professional text masking. I will be breaking this advanced method down and sprinkle some beginner tips throughout this tutorial too. If you need additional basic text practice, look at the All About Text tutorial playlist in the description below. Let's get started. You're on your Canva homepage, create a design, you're going to create one that is 1920 by 1080 pixel. It really doesn't matter what you use. That is generally the size I go with. Here we are. We have a white background. This is what we want. Let's add our rectangle to it and put it in the middle. And that doesn't really matter either because you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff to it. I use this weird looking brown 643707. Some people say that this brown 643707 actually works better than other colors. I'm not sure, we're gonna give it a go. Next, we're gonna add our text. For this, why don't we do text masking? Position, center, and middle. We're gonna change our font. And what I used here is this one called Brackus. It is a free font in Canva. So if you're a Canva free user, you're good to go with this font. You can try some other serif fonts and you might have some luck with some of these. However, keep in mind if it's too thin, it might not work. And the size, I used 185, so that's what I'm gonna use here. You could use any size, really. Center, middle. Here is where the fun just begins, and there's a lot of steps, but what you're gonna do is download this. You do not need to download with a transparent background. You don't need to compress files. You don't need to do anything like that. Just download it. get rid of this because our next step you will upload the image that you just downloaded wherever it went to on your device here it is i'm going to change the background here it doesn't matter what color it is i just want you to be able to see that you can see through it this step is for canva pro users however Keep watching and I will show you the tip if you do not have Canva Pro. Click on background remover. Let it work. Well, honestly, that has never happened. It has never looked like that before. I've been doing this for days and I've never had this issue. That's probably what would happen to you. Let's try it again. We're just gonna see what happens. What if I shrink this down and make it larger? All right, that's better. That's more like it. There's still a little white that I need to touch up, so I'm gonna select erase. I'm actually gonna make it larger so that I can see that area I need to touch up better. Shrink my brush size and touch it up. Click done. Oh, I see another spot there. So I'm just gonna shrink my brush again and try to aim down towards the middle. Now see, oh, that's done. Apply. Okay. 
bring that back out. All right, you ready to move on? Oh, what if you have furry? Remove BG. You'll upload your image. Let's try that first one and see if it will work. See, it didn't work there either. Let's try that second image. It worked better. And then of course you would upload that image. Duotones are next step. Edit image and scroll down until you see one called Duotone. If you don't see one that says Duotone, just keep scrolling or you probably don't have this many, but there's something called, you may also like, click on one of these Duotones. And then we're gonna click on the control panel and change it to white. We're at the add image part. You ready? And I really like this image. This is a Canva Pro image called Abstract Background Design. I interrupt this tutorial to give you a frugal tip. You don't have Canva Pro, so you can't use this image. What do you do? You find images that look similar and you play around with them. I found this image and this image. I took this image and first what I want you to know is that I made a lot of adjustments. Do you see all these? I'm going to take this filter code and copy it. I'm going to put the filter code in the description below for you. I'm going to click on this, edit image, adjust, see all, filter code, and paste it. Now what I'm going to do is go up here to flip. I'm going to flip it horizontally, and then I'm going to flip it vertically. And then it looks a little more like this image here. All right, let's do the same thing to this image, edit image, adjust, see all, filter code, filter codes in the description, and there it is. I can crop it if I want. Back to the lesson. I'm going to shrink it down. and right click and send it to the back. Now I can change my background to white. And I'm just gonna go ahead and group that and position it to the middle. Download, PNG, download. And we gotta hope that this one works right upload media device text masking here we go we're going to change that just so that we can see that it actually does its job edit image background remover again if you don't have canva pro then go to remove bg apply it and there is your custom lettering your custom font and what you would do at this point is use it in a design actually i lied you would add some effects to it i'm gonna add a shadow to it let's add a curve let's offset it a little bit change a transparency, lose some of the blur, and apply it, let it think. When it's doing these edit images, make sure that you wait until all changes are saved. And now what we're gonna do is, actually we're gonna type text masking again. Use that same font, make it the same size here, 
And first, that's kind of a cool look. But we're gonna add an effect and make it hollow. And then I would group them. That way I could size my lettering at one point. Let's look up paper. Place background, and I'm gonna add a grid, and I'm gonna use that color and change the transparency. All right, there we go. And now I add professional. And my font there was Satisfy. I used one of the colors from the image and added a shadow effect. And then with Canva. down here and of course what did I want in the satisfy my text masking was a little bit bigger my it was actually a little smaller than that and that's just the kind of thing that you can play around with Uh, that looks better and if the thing that happened that happened to me where it looked funky just try it again and re-download it try different fonts let me know which fonts work well for you i would love to hear about it before we close today i do want to give a little tip that i found is that my box here don't make it too much bigger than your text. I think that's where the issue came into play. Oh, by the way, this one worked out really well. It's called Marvin Slab. It's the image that you saw earlier that looked like this, but I don't have Canva Pro. I didn't have to tweak that font at all. So if you have issues, try shrinking your rectangle as close as you can get and that might help and also make sure that your word is the same color as your background in fact let's see what that does i might not even have to do the duotone step that way we'll see what happens here so here it is background remover See what happens. That one, so that didn't work. There we go. Make it that ugly brown because that one did work better than changing it to the blue and the white or whatever in the white. And maybe it would have worked if this was brown. Why don't we try that? What if this was brown? This was brown. Let's try it now. Edit image, background remover. Let's see if that works. Because if we could take out one step, that didn't work. So you really do need to have the lettering in white that works the best. I don't know how it would work. What if you just had a random color like that? Let's try it. And I have the same thing. So yeah, I would really recommend using the brown and white. Not that one, this one. Let's see, that was the original one that I did. So it should, see, it worked well. What color is that? Six, four, three, seven, zero, seven. All right, well, 
Thank you so much for learning with me today. Next time will be a great tutorial for all of you content creators. I'll be doing a special lesson on YouTube thumbnail fonts. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're subscribed, turn on the notification bell, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, here are a couple of tutorials, a couple of lessons, a couple of videos that you might enjoy too. All right, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.